the one big kind of question we hope we ask over the next day and, and started definitely with last night is, um, how do we advance the right to read for every child? We have a moral obligation to work in and with our communities towards a more just future. We have figured out how to do a great classroom. I've seen great hallways of classrooms. I've not seen great systems of schools. That, that looks too hard. That curriculum's too difficult for them. And all of those things, that's, I, I, what I hear is, you don't actually love them, right? Love me enough to teach me to read. So when I think about literacy and justice for all, I think about how literacy is and has always been a justice issue. As one mom put it to me, getting help for a struggling reader is a rich man's game. So we're talking about reading, which is the most basic and fundamental skill. It's a foundation upon which academic learning gets built. It's a necessary life skill. That is a rich man's game. What if there were, you know, real support for teachers and principals implementing this work on top of the enormous jobs they already have, not just in education, but as social care providers for our kids. We know that there is no, there's no one program, there's no one policy, there's no one curriculum that holds the solution. What if there was a stronger planning and coordination between the organizations on the ground so we weren't duplicating work but re really being much more effective with our dollars? When I think about literacy and justice for all, I think about how it is for all and also by all, that we all have a role to play. For the first time, the OLC is presenting an award to lift up the voices of change in our community. To recognize your exceptional leadership, Kareem, in movement building, your craft as an educator to so many, we've named this award the Kareem Weaver Literacy and Justice Catalyst Award. There is so much power and promise in our collective. It's regular people doing their job professionally and diligently and with care, love, and respect. That's what it is. If we have a, a sector that's committed to doing that, we're going to be all right. This is really, really important stuff to document and question and show and to show good examples so that the rest of the country can learn from those of you who are finding success. And you have, by your tireless, relentless work to show up for these kids, inspired us to be here with you. So thanks for being here today and for listening, and I hope you have a great conference. Thank you.